Hello there everyone, my name is Rose Monkey and welcome to the six month vlog update and a lot of problems. You guys may have noticed there haven't been many videos over the past couple of weeks and well no videos for the past couple of weeks and that is because the uh, health problems that I've had have reached a point of no, just no. Basically my back has gotten so bad that uh, yesterday I had an MRI scan to have a look at what's going on uh, which had its own set of complications, that's a long story for another day. Um, I'm also on very very strong painkillers and I really struggle at the moment to sit at my desk because it's very uncomfortable and very painful to do this for any great length of time. This unfortunately means I can't record videos because I can't sit here so I can't do the videos, I can't do the editing, I can't do everything. So I spent most of my time kind of shuffling around at the speed of a snail trying to do everything in my flat and it's become next to impossible. Because of this, at the moment at least, I'm going to have to freeze two of my goals which are yoga every day and losing weight because at the moment it's just not possible. I can't do yoga at all. I can't bend. I can't stand. I can't sit. I can't do anything for any great length of time. I can barely walk. There's no, there's just, no, it's not happening. And for the weight loss, again, if I can't move and I can't exercise and I'm on crazy, like four different kinds of painkillers in any one day, I can't feasibly concentrate on losing weight with that kind of restriction. So it's just going to have to wait. That does mean, however, that I can concentrate on other things. Now, up until this vlog and this period of blank, I was actually starting to do four videos a day. A day? A week. Four videos a week. Up until then, it was three. But around about Christmas, New Year, I sort of silently started slipping in an extra video a day just to see if I could manage it. Again, not a day. A week. What is wrong with my brain? Four videos a week um, since January I've tried to do. And for the most part, it was all right. I could do it. Um, I can find the time to do it. I can fit it around my job. It's not impossible. But obviously, with everything at the moment, recording has been impossible. So it's not really happened. But when I start recording again, which I'm gonna try tentatively to do again from now I'm gonna try and get back to four videos a week at the moment any of my videos might just not happen there's supposed to be a video every Tuesday Thursday Saturday and Sunday but you may well just not get a video for like a week at a time at the moment if it's just too too painful to record, I just can't do it, then it's just not gonna happen. But I will promise you guys now, I will try my absolute hardest to start doing videos again. So what have I been doing other than absolutely nothing? I've been watching a lot of Netflix. Um, that's been kind of good to try and get some new, because the right phrase, new, 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 new influences, new inspiration, new material, some, some interesting stuff. At some point, I'm going to start putting um like making little minecraft books you know in minecraft you have like books that you can like write stuff i'm gonna start writing loads of minecraft books of all the series that i've watched and start putting them on the shelves in my minecraft house so you guys can sort of see um what i've watched uh, it'll be there um i can even make a list on tumblr if you're really interested to know what i've been watching um i've watched black mirror I've watched Stranger Things, um, I've watched all of Sherlock up until the recent episodes and I'm planning on watching quite a few other things so if you guys have any suggestions for me for stuff I can watch let me know. Following on to the whole Sherlock thing I've also started reading this which is a compilation of like all, literally all of the Sherlock stories, all of them. Now I did say before that because this is one whole book I would count it as one whole book but now I've had a look through I can see where the lines are for each story. Now at least two of these books I think I've these these books I think I've read before. Um one of them I know for definite I've read the book that contains the speckled band. I remember that. I specifically remember that one. So I know I've read that one. I think I've read the one that has the Reichenbach Fall. I'm not sure if that's the same book or if it's a different one. So that's at least two things I remember reading. I started reading a study in Scarlet recently. That's where the the little, that, that's how much I've read, tiny little bit, but I've started reading it. It's recorded on Goodreads and this is going to be my next challenge to add on to the 50 books. And while my back is bad and I can't do much else, I'm going to try and read more and add more to that list. The book is so nice though. It's lovely. I, I'm so proud of this. It's got all like everything everything it's so big it's gonna take me so long to read it so that's something really exciting that i'm gonna do because i do love sherlock holmes um something else i really quite like is alice in wonderland now i don't think i've ever actually sat and read the books for that so i do plan on reading the alice in wonderland books which is alice in wonderland and alice through the looking glass i believe alice's adventures in wonderland 
and as I said the second one Alice Through the Looking Glass I want to read both of them as well I'm not sure what else I've got lists again of books that I want to read um, if you guys have any suggestions let me know so I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this update I'm sorry there's nothing special for my year and a half anniversary on YouTube there's nothing special for this six month video either like the six month anniversary of the goals uh there's still so much more i need to do but i am really optimistic that i can get more done i know for a fact i'm probably not going to get every goal completed but that's not the point of goals it's not to get everything bang on completed it's to set goals for yourself to try and reach them and you get you get more done if you're reaching for something than if you just go with the flow so hopefully we'll get more done and everything will be back to normal in no time once all the results are through and they start working on my back and figuring out what's going on because that's really annoying me. But like I said, I'm optimistic. I'm really hopeful. Everything is going to work out. And once again to everybody today, happy Valentine's Day and I hope that you are having a great day whether it's with someone or on your own. If you are on your own, don't be depressed and eat chocolate. Go and do something fun. Go and vote, go for a walk or, or watch a film you really like. Do something exciting. You know, make the most of it. I'm off work today, so I'm planning on making the most of it as well with editing this video for you guys and then maybe reading some more Sherlock. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give that like button some Valentine's Day loving and I'll be back with more updates for you very, very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. I had a very, very exciting parcel through my door today. What is this? What is this gorgeous thing? It's a blue snowball. I don't know if you guys can hear me anymore because I'm waving this thing around. But yes, and it's so big. Look, look how big it is.